Hello my friends, Alyssa here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so as you can tell from the title for today's video, it's going to be a little more serious. Um, I decided to do a video a little early this week uh, because today is a very significant day for my husband and I. So today would have been, or is, the day that our baby would have been due to be born. Um, if you are not familiar with our story and you haven't been following my channel, um, earlier this year my husband and I found out that um, our, we, were, we found out we were pregnant, and then with our first, um, we've been married for, at that time we'd been married for two years, um, so we found out we'd been, we were pregnant with our first, and then we went to get our regular routine eight-week ultrasound, everything seemed good, my body was feeling a little bit of symptoms, which is normal, um, and so I never suspected, but when we got there, the ultrasound showed that um, the baby had stopped developing after a couple of weeks. The amniotic sac or fluid had stopped after six weeks. Um, so the baby didn't make it, um, passed away in my womb without me knowing. And the weirdest part was that my body didn't warn me. I didn't have any like sort of symptoms of miscarriage. Um, I think that my body was really trying to hold on to the pregnancy. I think my body really wanted, as much as I did, really wanted to have this baby, it was like holding on for dear life. So I had to have a surgery and everything. But anyway, um, I have a video more about that. But my doctor um, gave me a date right before the ultrasound. So we, usually how ultrasounds or first appointments, prenatal appointments work is that the doctor comes up to you and you know talks to you first before the ultrasound. So he figured out my due date, which usually they figure out by measuring. Um, but he figured out for my cycle because I was sure that I knew what you know when everything happened. Um, so he said that my due date was would be September 18th, and that's today. Um, so I had that date in my head before the ultrasound, and of course it haunted me for all these months. Um, and I can't believe that it's been, you know, nine months already, you know, that I would have already been done with my pregnancy or close to it. Um, so that's weird, and i sorry that I seem a little, a little down. I am down, and I have cried a lot, um, probably have cried all my tears. I don't have any left, which is why I'm not crying right now. Um, but I am sad, but then, of course, as I've shared with you guys in my previous videos about this, I'm hopeful because I know where my baby is in heaven with Jesus. Um, but it's still hard. Um, I'm not going to lie and say that it's easy and that I've just been able to forget about it because I haven't. I was doing well for a few months, actually. Um, just, you know, I was just, I accepted it, which, of course, I still have. Um, but I think that I just had a hard time letting go um, of the baby because my body had a hard time letting go and it took me a really long time to get back to normal after that. And honestly, I'm still praying um, that, you know, that I will heal soon because I feel like, you know, physically I may not be super back to normal yet. Like, I should be, but I don't feel like I am. You know, and, and definitely emotionally I have my good days and bad days. Of course, today is, you know... A bad day which is not surprising but you know I do know while I am having a sad day and it's gonna be hard today um, my husband and I are gonna go have you know some time to just grieve privately um, in you know outside um, you know but while that's hard for me I know that the Lord is in control and I know he has a plan um, I'm very thankful that for the time I had with our baby and I'm learning, that's kind of what I'm learning, is today is about Thanksgiving, even though, sorry, even though it's really hard um, today, because it is, just knowing that this would have been the month, the day, the week, probably, that we would have met our baby, you know, and sometimes it's hard just not knowing what our baby looked like, you know, wondering what our baby would have looked like, or felt like, or sounded like, um, Obviously, for me, since I'm blind, my husband would have told me what the baby looked like. And so, you know, I just, I would have met the baby this month. So it's very hard. Um, but I'm wanting today to be about Thanksgiving and about thanking God for the time that I had with the baby. And yeah, I was only eight weeks along, but that felt like a really long time to me. Um, and I feel like that was a gift. You know, every day that we knew we were pregnant with that baby that life, um, it was a gift, and I, that baby made me a mother, you know, so I believe with all my heart that I'm a mom because of that little one, 
And even though the little one didn't make it, it went to heaven earlier than we would have liked, way earlier than we would have liked. Um, it's still, I still am a mom because of that life. And I'll miss that baby always. And I think the hardest thing for me is that, you know, there's an emptiness inside of me. And it's anyone who's gone through miscarriage understands exactly what I'm talking about, or at least most people. Um, but there's an emptiness inside of me where that baby would have been. Um, and it's like, I miss somebody that I've never met. It's the weirdest feeling, you know, but I feel like I knew, like, I feel like I knew my baby, my son or daughter, um, or my twins. Cause if you watch my previous video about this, my last video on this story that it could have been twins, but we don't really know, but I just, I know it was a baby. So I focus on that. Um, I focus on that, that there was a baby. And so anyway, like, even though I didn't really know my baby I felt like I knew my baby and I missed that from the moment I found out like I missed someone that I've never met it's just it's a really odd feeling but it's so such a real feeling um so I just anyway I'm sorry I'm rambling because when I get emotional that's what I do and I try to you know hide it which yeah <laughs> anyways so I'm just gonna end this by saying that I just wanted you guys to know um I want to be real with you guys um, you guys are my friends, my subscribers, you know, you're important to me. And so I want to be real with you and tell you that this is not an easy day for me. And you can probably hear it in my voice. It's just not. It's, I don't feel good. You know, I don't feel right. But, um, but I am trying my best to be thankful today. The best that I can. <laughs> you know, it's not easy. But I'm trying to be thankful for the time that I had with my little one. For the... The, the weeks, months that I knew my baby inside of me. And yes, I feel an emptiness. Yes, I feel a sadness. But I know that I'll see my baby again. And I know that that baby made me a mother. And I'm thankful for that. And today is about surrendering. Um, surrendering my baby to the Lord. Because that baby is not ours anymore. My husband and I, we've come to agreement with that. Yeah, it, it, it was our baby. Like the Lord gave that baby to us. But it's not anymore. Um, the Lord, it's the Lord's, he or she is the Lord's. Um, so we are going to surrender today. And I know that we have, but I feel like sometimes we, a lot of times, at least for me, I give things to God and then I take them back. <laughs> and I don't, I know I haven't fully given this baby to the Lord. Um, I've been holding on for months and wanting desperately to be, a mom to a baby here on earth um, and wishing, desperately wishing and yearning that that baby was with me here on earth and that I still had that baby inside of me, that I could feel the baby kick, you know, that I could feel, I would give anything to feel morning sickness, to feel those pains, to feel contractions, to go through labor right now. Um, because I would love to go through labor right now, <laughs> even though labor is not fun for any woman, I'm sure. Um, never been through it, but I, I've been through some contractions when I miscarried and it just, I know that it's way, it's way going to be hard when that time comes. But what I, I guess what I'm saying is I would gladly go through it, it today or this, if it meant that I could meet this baby, but I, I know that the reality is that I can't. So anyway, I am going to be thankful today that the baby's in a better place. My husband always tells me our baby will never have a bad day and that's the truth. Um, so anyway, we today are focusing on, I'm going to let go once and for all and give that baby to the Lord because it's not ours. Um, and we're going to look forward to the rainbow baby. I love that phrase because it's like God's promise, you know, the rainbow that he'll never flood the earth again. And so the rainbow baby, you know, is like God's promise that, you know, he'll bring us, you know, he'll give us another baby. So anyway, I know that that will happen eventually. I don't know when, and it hurts sometimes not knowing when, but we trust the Lord for that. And today I'm going to let go as hard as it's going to be. It's, I still haven't done it right now, but it, it's going to happen today. It's going to, I'm going to let go and say, Lord, this is your baby. It's not mine. Your will be done. And I'm going to do my best to move on from this and be thankful and look at this as, you know, I'm blessed to have had the time with my baby that I had and not focus on the time that I didn't have, if that makes sense. So anyway, 
I'm gonna stop rambling now and I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, I know this was not a very happy video. It was kind of a sad one. Um, I'm just glad I held it together <laughs> for you guys. I, I seem to be pretty good at that. I don't know why, but <laughs> behind closed doors, I'm not so good at it. So if you're watching this um, today, just or any time, just please be praying for my husband and I. We appreciate your prayer so much. You guys have been so supportive and we, you know, throughout these months that we've announced it and we appreciate that more than you know. And we're looking forward to what God has for us. Um, we're looking forward to being parents on earth. We are parents now, but we're looking forward to being parents to children here on earth and raising them to love the Lord. And as I said before, you know, I will be celebrating with you guys the day that that happens. I'll be letting you guys know when the time is right. Um, and I just thank you for watching and I pray you all have a blessed day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.